So this is the long-awaited experiment, and um, basically, <laughs> one of the, she doesn't know which one is uh, two. Two or three of these drinks are drugged. She doesn't know which one they are. Obviously, I didn't drug them because this package is not open, right? This package is not open. Can no, you it's not open. There's there's writing on it because I kept it in my room for a while, and I didn't want them to switch it out. So I put little writing to little little something for security measure. All right, um, it's kind of toward the end of the day. Today's a Thursday, I think it's July 7th, Thursday, July 7th, 2016. All right, so the person who's been kind enough to volunteer for the experiment is gonna open it. She's gonna pick one drink of each for, her, for herself and one drink of each for me. Remember, these, two out of three of the drinks are drugged, according to me, you know, unless they switched out this while I was gone. And one of them isn't drugged, because she doesn't know which one's which, so we proceed. And the reason why um, I have a filter on is because she didn't want to be on camera. So you, you know. Pick, pick one for me too, so you know it's on the up and up and I'm not trying to do anything foul. All right. Again, remind you, this this one was sealed. She opened it up. Now, there's no sign of it being resealed. Okay, so, all right. Now, how are we gonna do this? <laughs> Basically. Well, actually, sit down. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Okay. All right. So. Which one do you want? So we'll let's open. let's start with the root beer. Okay. Normally, I wouldn't drink this much soda at once, but. <laughs> we gotta get to the bottom of this once and for all. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> the first sip, do you sense anything out of the ordinary about it? No. Alright. Neither do I. After we're done, I'll tell you which ones were which. It's too bad they didn't have a fridge, so they're all warm. I guess we you know what, let's just, no, I don't know. I'm, kind of, I'm kind of conflict on how to do this part, whether to actually finish the soda or whether to, you know what, let's, hmm. let's just put it to the side, screw it, all right? Put the first one to the side after, you know, drink as much as you want. Actually, we'll, we'll, take, we'll, put, we'll take one more gulp. Mm -hmm. So you're feeling tired? Yeah, was it root beer? Was it root beer? Yeah. All right, so, all right, so in between the breaks, um, what happened? Can you describe? Okay, right now my stomach is hurting and I'm feeling like a heartburn sensation and I'm starting to feel sick. And did, you, did you take a nap earlier? Between? I lay down because I was, I got, um, I felt, Sleepy. And you felt like the drinks might have contributed to it as well? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Alright. But this. I had a drink of this strawberry crush right now. And. <clears throat> yeah, I feel sick. Alright. So, thank you. So, just to verify, after drinking this one, you do feel sick now. The strawberry crush. Yep. And this Stop is free. This one was the one in my freezer. These two were the ones in my room. That's why they're in the packages still. Right. Yeah, it's a strawberry crush sword. Can you imagine I drinking, felt... having your drinks uh, drugged every single day? You know, everywhere you go, pretty much. Can you imagine how much, how much of a toll it would take. How much stress it is. How much your body's taking a toll. Can you imagine going through this every day? Every time you want to drink, and you have to go out of, you have to go to different stores to try to throw them off. Man, it's it's been hard on me, you know, and I've been very mad. You know, well, why don't you, why why don't you just not buy sodas at all? I, I tried that because I thought about that. I was like, well, if I go to the water place, they'll start drugging the water. You know, those places you bring those gallon jugs, they'll start doing because they also have been doing the water too. All right, so to recap where we're at, we drank a little bit of the A and W. I'm drinking no more. You drank a little my bit. My stomach hurts. Yep. Yeah, now she just she wants to tap out. And she, I'm gonna have to let her, obviously, because I'm not putting a gun in anyone's head here. But yeah. 
Okay, there's one, one more question. No, I don't want to bother you too much, but I want to get you while you're still feeling it. Okay. Imagine trying to do physical exercise, right? Trying to do sports, trying to, say, if you try to run a oh, mile. Oh, no, it'll, it'll make your stomach just feel more nauseous. Yeah, just like with MK Ultra, it's like they were looking for drugs to make it impossible to do physical activity. They were looking for drugs to make you act out of the ordinary and discredit you. Mm -hmm. These things have those possible applications, right? Yep. They do. I never tried a soda, so, I mean, and it made me feel this. So, all right, so this is the next day, um, July 8th, 2016. So have you been around people who are drugged or medicated before? Yes, I have. All right. And yesterday, Chiku looked very drugged, and this morning he looked refreshed not drugged at all would you say that's kind of consistent with them drugging the drinks and what have you from how you looked yesterday yeah all definitely right. so um so i'm not telling you what to say or anything You're, these are your words and you know it's all true right yes so if you were to later on sit change your story you know for any reason, you're telling the truth now and not then, and not later. I'm telling the truth. Well, it's it's the truth in what I noticed yesterday from today. All right, all right. I'm just saying this to cover all the odds. I'm not saying you're gonna do that. I'm just, you know, making sure that the viewers know that this is not staged, that this is actually, you know, what your your perspective, and you know, with all the other things I've gathered, uh, per, I have a person on record saying that they were told to provoke me to go to the psych ward. So it's already established that they're trying to get me on drugs. So yeah, well thank you, that's all I need for now. Today is Saturday the 9th. Okay, so since you've been here, you arrived on Thursday, Thursday evening or, or Thursday around six, you know, or, or I picked you up around 5.45 or something. Okay, you've had five other drinks. You've had the water from the store, You've had um, Coke from Subway. You've had, what did you get from Jack and Box? Uh, it was a Seagram gin with orange soda. Or a Seagram gin, ginger ale, you mean? Yeah. All right. Um, you've had the lemonade from In N Out and then those experiment stuff. Coke from the Mexican. Oh, yeah, the Coke from Mexican place. So you have five. Did, how, did those drinks make you feel any kind of way, any drugged or anything? No. All right. So the only time you felt any kind of way was the experiment. We had drinks that was the A and W root beer that I suspected, you know, what was might be drugged, and the cherry crush. Also, it's important that my viewers know that you did not have any idea what symptoms to expect, right? Mm -mm. So when you started feeling tired and the heartburn and whatever you were feeling, it was, you had no idea that's what it was. So it completely rules out the idea that you were expecting to feel that way or you thought you might feel that way. You had no idea. And so, you know, then of course you didn't know which drinks were drugged. And it turns out after I tested the root beer again this morning, that it was both of them, both of them were drugged. So you were right to say that it was a root beer.